This is the OSIT project. OSIT is the Ohio Canal Interceptor Tunnel. The purpose of the project is to provide a additional capacity for their storm and sewer system so that overflows can be contained and not go out into the riverway. Well, it's a Cuyahoga River Valley. Uh, they're going to tunnel towards downtown area, finishing up right around the stadium in downtown Akron. And the outlet will eventually be conducted to the treatment plant and then discharging clean water into the Cuyahoga River. Throughout the assembly of the machine, we've had several hands here from Robin's technical staff helping us through each step of the way. Been a group of guys who have been reliable, knowledgeable, and hardworking, and have really helped us overcome anything to make sure we can get started as quickly as possible and as efficiently as possible. The crossover machine was picked for this application due to the varying geology. We start in reach one, which is a soft ground reach, and then move into reach two, which is a combination of soft ground and hard rock, and then finally into reach three, which is all rock. So we had to have a machine that could handle all varying types of geology throughout the run. Uh, the cutter head is designed to cope with either soft ground or rock. It's not very hard rock, but it's too hard for conventional soft ground cutters. So it's designed to cope with both ground types and the transition from soft to the rock. Based on uh, the design from Robbins, the machine was set up for uh, an easy conversion. There was nothing really you had to do. We backed off our, our foam generation to a minimum just to, uh, to help the cutters rotate a little bit and to make sure we're mildly conditioning so the material could get through the screw. Uh, but really no huge changes. It was just backing off the conditioning and, and switching over into open and increasing our advance rates. Uh, we found even in this closed mode EPB where the, where the muck can be pasty and, and wet, we can handle it efficiently with a belt conveyor. Uh, so removing the muck from the cutter head chamber is a screw conveyor. It's a large screw conveyor. Uh, we kept the large size because of the potential to operate uh, at a quick rate in open mode. So the screw conveyor pulls the muck out of the cutter head chamber. There's a transfer conveyor on the backup, and that transfer conveyor uh, deposits the material in, into the tunnel conveyor, which actually is built as the machine advances. Uh, the front of the tunnel conveyor, we call it the installation window, is mounted on the backup, and that is advancing as the machine advances. Uh, so one of the most difficult aspects about this job is that you launch right into the hardest part of the job. Uh, you had 200 foot of soft ground, very short reach, uh, and then you went from there right into the mix phase for 600 feet. So before you could even really learn how to use the machine and the basics of it, you're already trying to learn the toughest ground you got to get through. A lot of different things had to go on there to make that successful. It took everybody from Robbins, uh, everybody we had in the, the industry. Uh, uh, we basically pulled everybody to fight through that first 800 feet. Uh, did it, got to the other side. Um, this machine uh, proved to be very successful in the rock. Had the power to get in there. Uh, made advance rates that we never thought we were gonna get. Has been doing very well. It's very, very important for field service to be involved for the duration of these projects. I think that um, everybody's happy to be here and we're good at what we do. And it's very important for everyone to understand that when they have a product of ours that we're here to keep that product moving and to keep that project moving forward. Uh, once we break through, uh, obviously the first step is get the machine out of the way. So we'll be pulling the machine in its entirety out of shaft three, which is the retrieval shaft. We gotta back all the utilities out and clean it uh, back to the portal. There's an attic connection that's about midway in the tunnel where we've already driven the attic. We just have to break through the segments, make the final connection. Uh, and then there's a vent tube, 60 inch, that comes into the top that we have to put in. But after that, it's uh, back up and put in some surface structures and let the city of Akron have their product. <laughs>